Keep on a rolling, and let's talk a little TV. TV. And so we just got our first trailer for the second of the two Marvel Fox projects to come out for TV. Because if you didn't know about this, we talked about it on a uh, show. How long ago did we talk about that? Like a year or two ago? Probably. But uh, they, they announced that those two, they were going to play nice and they were going to make some TV shows together. And the first show that came out was spectacular. It was the Legion show. If you haven't watched it, go out and watch it. I need to catch up on the final couple episodes, so please don't spoil anything for me. But that was the first of the two ones. And then we really didn't hear about what the second was going to be. We, we had heard about Legion for a while, and then, boom, they dropped a trailer on us. And so the next show in this Marvel Fox team-up is going to be called The Gifted. Mm-hmm. And... If you haven't watched the trailer, go ahead and watch it real quick. We'll wait. You could probably just pause and, and now come back to us, you know. Okay. Yeah, they paused. All right. They're smart. They <laughs> use technology the right way. I don't need to wait through it. <laughs> they probably paused, opened up another screen, watched it, then came back. But <laughs> so if you I watching this, I just wanted to break down a few things that I saw on it that that interested me and a few things that kind of was like eh, what are you doing here um so to start off if the basic synopsis of the story seems like it's you have a human who hunts mutants and just so happens he's got two kids that happen to be mutants uh, mm-hmm. when their powers start emerging the government agency or secret agency we're not quite sure what it is decides that hey we need to get those mutants let's go get them and this family goes on the run. Father turns on the agency that he was working for and says, I'm going to protect my kids no matter the cost. And they keep moving. So, or a at least bit tries on to it. get them into hands that will protect them. It seemed like. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. And so you, you've already, we saw a couple big mutants. Uh, now Polaris, if you looked in the trailer, that was the girl who was stuck in the bag. And she has like, uh, she kind of is kind of like Magneto. She can control magnetism and stuff like that. So she was in there. She can control lots of things, she said. Water. Air? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's the daughter. Oh, that's the da- Oh, this, there was another one. I didn't even see the other person. Yeah, the, the other girl, like, she was... Do you remember them putting somebody in a bag and her kind of being like this with, like, green around her hands? That was Polaris, I believe. Okay. Um, then you saw Blink in there, and the only reason I knew it was Blink is because of the tattoo on her eye, which she was one of my favorite characters from X-Men Days of Future Past that really didn't get much play, so... Mm-hmm. Maybe she'll get a little bit more. And I believe Thunderclap, now I'm not 100% sure. This is just me guessing on these who these characters are exactly. Thunderclap is another character. He's kind of like the sunspot for an alternate universe. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know what's going on with this, is is this is going to be taking place not necessarily, if we're going to draw from the comics and we're going to say where the, the main comic inspiration is, it's from Age of X, which I believe is the current running one. And it's, it's a dimension that legion kind of spawned out of his mind one of his powers created this dimension so that's why it's going to fall under the same legion umbrella um right there and they're kind of that's how they're going to kind of connect these universes and in the age of x it's kind of like the age of apocalypse if you remember if you know that one um just everything has gone to hell for mutants it's not good whereas the age of apocalypse all the evil mutants rise up and take over this one all the the humans kind of suppress the mutants and, and yeah. kind of start wiping them out and capturing them. Sounds like it's also a clever uh, pick for the TV show in that they don't have to even explain or bother with the the cinematic universe. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, if you don't want to, you don't have to deal with it. So, yeah. yeah, even though there are hints and whispers, and Patrick Stewart has even come out and said he'd be willing to do it, that he might. Professor X might pop up in Legion, the show, because that is his dad. But that's that's another story for another time. Um, but we see this, and the, my first thoughts on this trailer, when I was watching, I was like, oh, cool, cool. Oh, well, look, I'm sorry. Let me keep going through. And then, yes, the daughter. I don't know exactly who she's supposed to be uh, portraying. But, yeah, she can control the elements pretty much. Earth, wind, fire, water. So she's the That's avatar. Her thing. She's, she's pretty much the last airbender. Yes, yes, <laughs> she is the avatar. Um, and then the son seems like he has very, very strong telekinetic powers. They, they, they even show this. They have what I'm going to call sentinels, these little like octopus robots things coming after him, hunting him. And he kind of is like, and like destroys them all. So, um, and he also has this one scene in the shower where he bends the shower. So he's telekinetic, if not more than that, because they also show him like blowing out lights and stuff. Some people I've, I've seen theorize that that means he can control magnetism as well. And some people are like, it's just a wave of his telekinetic powers blowing out all these circuits. Yeah. So either way, go I got the impression with him and given what his sister is like, that he's uh, another one of the Marvel characters that's like a super psychic that -hmm. can't control it. So kind of like like Jean, Jean Grey and Phoenix and everything like that. And um, there's there's a strong force inside of him that they might be able to control. Yeah. 
that they just have these super telekinetic powers that ex explode sometimes. I think uh, even Professor X was known for that could happen if he let things get out of control. Yeah, you know, he just, could wipe everybody out pretty yeah. much just with his mind. So, yeah, you always got to be careful about those guys. They, they, they're a little tricky from now on, from time to time. Uh, but the basic synopsis of the story, we've already gone through most of it. So after the kid's powers emerge, it seems like the daughter already has really good control over her powers, but it's the son's power emerging that really sends him on the run. And it seems like they're trying to join up with the mutant resistance group, which would be led by Thunderclap. And you'll have Blink in there and Polaris and all those other mutants. And, and the, it'll be a cool way to throw a lot of mutants in there. It looks like they might and have then, Jubilee you know, in there, off on the run. too. Huh? Does it look like there might be Jubilee in there, too? Eh, possible. I, I, I didn't really see Jubilee, but... There was someone that was like, that twice. could be, but then it looked like she was doing other stuff. I don't know. I, I Just so. say it. I want Jubilee to be in there, too, because... She's a fun character. I, I like her. Well, Jubilee, people don't people don't realize it. Like, I can't remember the exact name, but her little firework power is actually like her making subatomic explosions. And so, when she learns how to control it more, she she has like nuclear bombs shooting out of her fingers. So, she's so she's, powerful she's an entire army. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she yeah, she's more than an entire. Not, army. not an she's army. Like, she's an entire military arsenal. force arsenal. Yes. Yes. She, she is the arms. She has the entire United States <laughs> nuclear arsenal all in her fingertips. So, yeah, if she ever could figure that out. But so, a couple thoughts came to mind after watching this trailer. First thought was, hmm, this seems so familiar. I, like, yes, hmm, I've seen this too. I feel like I've seen this before. Like, it's cool. I want to see it again. It looks really cool what you guys are doing with it, but it just feels familiar. And then I thought to myself, where have I seen this before? And then it dawned on me. And it's pretty much the same original story as Heroes. Like, at least one of it, oh, you have okay. the blonde girl. That, I mean, even the cheerleader. Uh, <laughs> the blonde girl, the daughter, looks a lot like. Uh, oh, man, I, I can't remember her character's name. I want to say it's Claire. Claire in, in Heroes. And then her dad is the one that tracks down the mutants usually and now is helping hide okay. her mutant abilities. So I was thinking the Obviously, same thing while I was watching this. I was like, this, I know this storyline. This plot line has been done. And I wasn't sure if it was, you know, kind of referenced in one of the other X-Men movies or if this was the Mutant X. Uh, you remember Mutant X? Wasn't sure if that mm -hmm. was one of their plot lines or what, but but I think you're right. Heroes, heroes did. It's heroes. Essentially. Oh, it is heroes. <laughs> it is heroes. Now again, it'll diverge into different paths, but the basic setup is heroes. That's what we're getting, which is not bad because season one of heroes was absolutely amazing. Season two, up until the writer strike, was amazing, and then boo, the writer strike killed it. So let's hope we don't have another writer strike. But that's another story for another day. But yeah, so we we did have talks about another writer strike possibly coming down the line really soon. <laughs> yeah, I didn't follow up on it, but uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see about that. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks amazing. I just said, but yeah, 15 times, by the way. But yeah. But yeah. Gonna, you want me Brendan's to... like, why do you always point out your awkwardness? I, I don't know. I just do it. That's what Brian wanted. That's, I know. He just wanted me to use the sound effect. He likes the womp. That's why he does bad things. <laughs> I do it on purpose just to hear the womp. But yeah, so. <laughs> Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Oh, all right. So let's, let's get, get back, back to now. Gifted. <laughs> get back to Gifted. Get back to Gifted. This show looks really cool. I am totally excited to see it. And it's going to be interesting because it is on Fox. So whereas Legion, we only got 10 episodes. We're probably going to get a full 20 to 24 episodes for The Gifted. And I'm more excited about that. I love I love the 10 episode story arcs because you really can make it more um, serial. Is that the word? Rather than episodic. The, the, all the episodes tying together, you get more of a longer story and you get a mm -hmm. deeper story, I'd say, main story out of it rather than having it peppered in every couple ones. But I, I have a feeling like this, they're going to have to connect it because it's all the events, boom, and then it has to go. You can't really make this quite an episodic show. It has to be more intertwined. So I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I am a little skeptical, to be honest. Um, it looked... Pretty cool. I'm fine with the storyline and having apparently seen it in Heroes before. Um, it, it still looks like like a nice storyline and like they got some good mutants coming in. But I was slightly bored during the parts of the trailer. I was like, where are you going with this, guys? Like, okay, I get it. The the, the girl and her brother, they, they have powers that they're learning. Yeah, she was but, like, hey, let's, I'll let's teach go. you how to steal candy from a vending machine. Ah. And okay, he, he gets bullied and that triggers powers. All right, come on. 
do you have more to, to show? No, Grant, it's just a trailer, but I, yeah. I was kind of a little wear, weary of, are, are we going to see proper progression here? Do Is there enough substance here to care about? Or is this just going to be, well, here's our one plot point and here's a bunch of mutants. Yeah. And, and my one gripe with it is, yeah, they didn't really... I mean, they kind of gave you a little bit about the character, uh, you know, how these characters are. like, But they didn't really... There's not anybody I really latched onto in this show. No. And now I'm not an adolescent anymore. I'm not a father. so And, you know, and it is just main, a trailer. It says, it is, and but... it is just a trailer. But you'd like to see that one character kind of stand out. And I don't think we saw that in the trailer. So You yeah, barely get the personality the of, the, of the, the one, the brother... At all. Yeah. You just kind of see him being amazed and then going crazy a little bit. Yeah, uh, the girl, you out. just don't don't get much. Everyone else, well, you she, just see you like for a three bit, seconds. I think you get the most out of the girl, uh, the daughter, than you do anybody else. I Probably think actually get the most out of the strong dad. character. Yeah, they, you're they, right. The most out of the daughter. They actually which, give you a little progression. Who, who doesn't seem like he's going to be a focal. Him up and then and then trying to pr- protect his kids. So Yeah. yeah but he doesn't seem like he's going to be the main character. So I don't know why we're getting so. Unless he is. I, I don't know. Maybe well, that's what it's going to be. I think this family dad is, in his family is focused on this family and their run from the government slash whatever organization they're running from. And I'm interested to see because they did kind of throw in the Sentinels. Is he going to work for Trask Industries and be tracking them down that way? Or is he going to be an official government agent? Because he does have like the American flag pin lapel on his suit in the beginning of the trailer so that makes me think he's a government agent but i'm not 100 percent sure they don't really well, specify yes he is a government agent one thing that i did find hopeful in it is it did seem like we have competent people they're not going to rely on some side being just idiots um mm-hmm. and, and i say that because there's the one person that's an agent or, or whatever i think he's an agent um that is going after the kids that's we, we get the line from him telling, I guess, his, his boss that, uh, well, it being his own son, sometimes changes yeah. matters. Like, mm-hmm. I guess the higher up say, like, well, he's loyal oh, to worry, us. Or the guy's yeah, intelligent says, well, he might not be. And so I'm going to be cautious and, and ready and mm-hmm. preemptively do stuff. Um, and if that's going to be our villain, I, I like seeing a villain that that understands the ways of of the world and yeah. uh, anticipates Makes him a good films. villain, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, if you ever watch a show, anytime I talk about movies or anything like that, if you don't have a good villain, I'm not that I don't care that much about the main the main protagonist. I mean, a villain needs to be that needs to be just as strong, in my opinion, as your main hero. And because if you have too weak of a villain, doesn't really matter what your hero can do nobody's really going to care because it's like, whatever, he's not even fighting anybody who, who matters, or he's not even going against anybody who matters. That's, that's one of the things I loved about, I'm going to nerd it out real quick for everybody. Death note. It was the back and forth between the main villain and mm-hmm. the main protagonist. Uh, you know, it just, the chess it's such game, a great back the mind game. Chess game. Played I want to see that it keeps me intrigued. I don't want to know that one side is necessarily, necessarily going to win. Yeah. Going into these things, you figure that the good guys will win. But I don't want to necessarily know that. I want it to be ambiguous from time to time because it, it, it almost if you know too much, if it's too obvious that the main guy is going to win and is going to breeze through everything, then it's like, why even watch it? I know what's going to happen. Just show me the beginning five minutes and the last five minutes. I, I got the movie. And, and um, you want to see the good guys overcome some real yeah. challenges. Like it's mm-hmm. not that the bad guys were just incompetent and somehow raised themselves to power and then just threw it away it's exactly. that the good guys uh through whatever it is that they they got going for them determination intelligence whatever were able to to deal with what yeah. was going on yeah so In a that's our way. thoughts on it and it's only the trailer like we said it's a, the very first look at what's going to happen so as as more comes uh, as we get closer to the fall and its release date probably get some stuff in comic con we'll probably get a few other releases here and there about what's really going on and probably some character bios and stuff like that so as more comes we'll talk about it more but hit us up let us know what you think uh, are you excited for the show do you think it's just gonna be a cheap heroes knockoff hit us up let us know comments down below of course at was my face on twitter google plus and facebook oh always good ways of getting a hold of us